Okay, I'm back in my boat. I keep missing stuff to tell you guys. I don't know. Maybe you don't care. If you don't, scroll on. Um, okay, first of all, um, that rock button right there that says jack plate, this is my um, Pro Top. Um, it's basically a momentary contact from off to on for my Pro Top that's mounted in the back. It's also NEMA 2000. Um, what that does is allows me to preset my um, jack plate height and my trim setting so that you know i could have it jacked all the way down and and trim tuck all the way in for one setting that's basically quote unquote launch and then i only have to push a set of buttons for one second and it'll automatically jack to a jack and trim the motor to a predetermined level obviously top speed in this case so that's kind of a nice feature and then um this is the vessel view screen 903 um, it has a lot of information, but the most important thing is you can move that information all around and you can put a lot more information on there. Like for example, I could, uh, sorry, I did that wrong again. I do a lot of things wrong this thing. I can split the screen so I can have my, um, Navionics, my Navionics on there at the same time as my <coughs> gauges there. So, so dot engine dot on the left and uh, Navionics on the right. Uh, you can do that just about any time you want. Uh, you can have just engine data. You can have this bar on the right hand side. You can customize this. You just push and hold each of these spots and you can put a myriad of different, I mean, look at, there's my gearbox temperature <laughs> on an outboard, okay? Gearbox temperature. So there's all kinds of things that you can uh, put on here. Uh, water temperature, uh, depth gauge, that's wrong clearly. Voltage and fuel level. But furthermore, I can add another one of those uh, bars. They call them over here, information bars. I can put a fuel bar over here uh, and that'll add a second row of data. Okay, so there's seven items in each of these rows. I could have 14 pieces of data there. It just automatically squeezes these gauges over a little bit here. You know, there's my, there's uh, which gear I'm in, in case you're not sure, forward, neutral, reverse, uh, speed. And it shows you the speed in, <coughs> sorry, that's the RPM. Um, and it shows you digitally and analog like that. And it, it builds in the red line automatically uh, based on the fact that it's a 300R. It's got a 65, well, 6,450, I think, <coughs> RPM red line. As soon as you tell it which, which motor it's monitoring, it changes that little red bar. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, the speed over ground. So there's your in miles an hour over there. Same thing, digital and analog. Um, water temperature you can change all the locations of this stuff it's completely customizable you can uh sorry, i did that wrong again you can um over here hit the mercury button over here and you can add another screen on this side so you, now you've got another bar on the other side you can change put more data points in there you can actually put that on the whole screen and see all that stuff you know so then you could have that instead of if you're more worried about your <laughs> fuel and uh, coolant temperature you could have that on a big screen like that and then maybe put your uh, you can put your RPM and tack on this side if you wanted. Like, man, it just, there's so many, so many <clears throat> different things that this thing does. So many things. I don't keep that on. You can animate the bars uh, on the side here. So it'll, it'll flash back and forth between the two bars. <coughs> it'll automatically change every couple seconds. Okay, so, yeah, you know, in case you didn't want to take up too much space, but you wanted to see both the things. I don't need that. And I don't need bar two because it's too much data. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of stuff on there, guys. A lot of stuff on there. This is uh, vessel uh, vessel control on the side. I haven't I haven't put it all back in here, but <clears throat> this is where you have your um, um, troll control, which this motor can do. Uh, basically, I can set the motor from um, 560 RPM to 1000 RPM for cruising, so I don't have to be pushing my gas pedal. Um, if this motor was the uh, electric steering, electric shift, the fancier motor, the more expensive motor. Um, I'd have cruise control on there. Uh, I can put it on, but it won't do anything. And I'd have, um, uh, what do you call that for hauling, uh, for towing, towing, um, uh, skiers and whatnot. It has that feature as well too. But again, I don't have that option on this motor. It'll be on the 450 air. That's for sure. Um, yeah, that's what that screen looks like guys. See you later.